Welcome back to the Joy of Dark Souls. In this episode, we continue exploring Firelink Shrine, Guy finally gets his wish to see a ragdoll get flicked off a cliff, and Elspeth reenacts a famous scene from Jason and the Argonauts down in the graveyard. We're back, folks. Is Let's... that ghost another person? Yep. Yeah. Anytime you see one of these intangible characters, there you see, there's another one. He's becoming human. That gesture is someone who's using up a, a hard humanity. Because the hard humanity, while well, you can't lose it, you also can't deploy it. So, these are actual other people that we're following. So, yep. what, what's the, why is that then? They're like a ghost on our game or something. Um, well, in-game, uh, they say that Lord Ran is a place where time doesn't really work properly. People okay. fade in and out of each other's experiences. And that's never more true than when you're near a boss and you can leave a, a white soapstone mark and you're basically signing your name. And if someone touches it, they can summon you into their game and you can help them defeat the boss. All right. Or more, usually you can help them defeat an invader that's come in and is trying to blow them up. So if we can see them, can mm -hmm. they see us? Or could yeah, they just be seeing probably. other people? That's quite interesting. Now then, these are our first... This, this is our first sort of tutorial area for learning how the combat mechanics work when you're dealing but with that's, groups. But that's quite good. The, 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 because Hello. in the game... Oh my gosh. It's, yeah, that... I'm not messing <coughs> around here. They're uh... because the movements and the way like normal yeah. physical human players would move characters makes it more kind of um, it makes it I guess more realistic. Little things like that. Yeah, that, that's that's quite a good mechanic. Mm -hmm. I like that. So we get this lad that's throwing fire charges at us. Oh my goodness! And another lad at the top waiting to run down the stairs and kill us. Can we not range attack anything yet? And well, we have a bow, but we don't have anything to fire from it. Will he uh, not run out? Nope, he essentially has a limitless supply. Of these exploding fireball things. Now, here's the thing. Neither of these enemies are our concern. Well, he's a bit of a concern because he's throwing fireballs at us. Let's stab him. But the main, the main concern is this dude back here. Yeah, oh, ow. God. That did not go according to plan. All right, to you. Get him, get him, get, get him, get him. There stab, we go. Stab. All right, the S-Doc doesn't Ooh. have a lot of stopping power, and it didn't break his poise, which meant that he still attacked us, even though we hit him first. This is so much scarier when I'm not playing the character. Oh my god. Get him. All is well. There you go. We got him. So the the thing counts up. Oh, you've got to see. You've got to see. Can can you just nudge him off the ledge? Hmm? Go, oh, yeah, go back course. to the one we just killed. <laughs> Let's just see. We're going to be spending a lot of the game doing this, aren't we, guys? <laughs> All right, you... Time to say yes. hello. Goodbye. To the gods. You're free. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Oh, there Whee. we go. Oh, wow. Now then. Bit of front flip parkour. This chap with his... Oh, God. Pig's heart shield. Whoops. Daisy. That's not quite what I intended to do. God, we've only got so, half the health. Oh. oh. We still took some damage there when we, we use our shield. Let's uh, drink one of these. And watch get out, a dodge. Out. And... Yeah, this part is probably not going into the guide. No, I'm going to keep it in. Because sometimes a walkthrough has to show what not to do. Don't pair a weapon that relies on a shield with a shield that only blocks two thirds of physical damage, for example. There <laughs> we go. Alright, so moving on. There's another soul the last undead. If we uh, fire these up, they only worth 200, but that's still enough to get us on another level. And you can see that there's a small gap there. It's an infinite abyss, so we got to be careful. Let me safe. see that again, sorry. Hmm? Go back to the edge. It's quite a long way down. Wow. Yeah, it must be uh, three or four feet. Yeah. <laughs> Could be three centimetres. Yeah. So, Can we jump to we that go. ledge? Oh, we can. Yes, just. It's actually not as far as it looks. And you can jump uh, quite far. You surprise yourself regularly. Ooh. Now you've got to just... Is this a secret? Um, sort of. It, it. Dark Souls is a game that rewards exploration more than anything else. There we go. There we go. I'm quite big on the exploration. I remember playing a game called um, Deus Ex Human Evolution, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it just took me, I think, probably three times as long as any other, anyone else, because I would explore the whole area <laughs> just to make sure I got all the uh, all the points. Yeah, there's no shame in that. <laughs> We do go back to the same areas quite a lot on this. This is quite... Yes. 
There is a phenomenal amount of backtracking in Dark Souls. Are there any like secret, secret openings and things like that? <laughs> More than you can imagine. Hello. If we nip down here, excuse me, I'm just going to cough again. <coughs> there we go. Let you press a certain brick and it opens up like diagonally. Uh, there are some invisible walls. Oh, not cool. invisible walls. There are some uh, but you can, you can walls that you can, you can, you can, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You get them a poke and they just vanish. So we've got half a dozen fire bombs there to go along with our fireballs. And uh, we've also got this chap with his pudding bowl haircut. How's it going, big guy? Hello there. Hello. I believe we are not acquainted. That's because I, I just got here. I was trying to chat us up. What's going Have on? No business with us? If not, uh, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Just trying to chat up, Elle. Uh, Get out of there, else He looks shady. Not what it sounded like to me. It sounded like he didn't want anything to do with us. He's so, fine. We don't want anything to do with him, either. Run away. <laughs> That's a, a morning star, a cleric weapon. Petrus is a, a cleric, and he will teach us miracles in due course. There's another soul of the lost undead. And we can just go... Pink! The power. Yep. And... What the hell? Let's let's go and annoy Petrus some more, shall we? Let's just just keep bugging him and see what he has to say. Pedro. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Hi. I realise that I have requested that we retain our distance. Yeah, I've decided I also I don't care. want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Big whip. Take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Wow. Good point. Wow, oh one my. copper coin, Oops. you, you generous him. soul. Oh, <laughs> I know. Kill him. How about this? <laughs> Hold the phone. I have to awake my companions here anyway. Uh -huh. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Ah, uh, yeah. That please you? It certainly would. Very yes. well. Give us, give us information. A covenant with the gods. Oh my goodness, yep. what does this mean? <laughs> Covenants affect uh, certain stats in the game that you don't, they're not really privy to. I'll now explain them as time goes on. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Mm. Coolio. Alright, so we can't actually afford anything that this guy's offering this, at this point. There's the force there. See, this, this is Star Wars. <laughs> You can use the force. No, force is emit force. It <laughs> pushes enemies away. And you can launch them off cliffs and things. Which oh, is quite yes. Handy. Good night. Uh, night. Uh, that was our other flatmate saying good night. Um, it has its uses, but they don't come up very often. Okay. Uh, I don't really use it myself. So we can afford a talisman, but we can't cast anything with it. But there's no point buying a talisman because I know where to pick one up. Oh, we can learn the gesture. We can now shrug. Well, that's useful. Yeah. Yep. Right. Uh, we'll be back once we have 4,000 souls for the heal spell, because that comes in very handy. It means we don't have to use up Estus flasks. Hmm. Come again. Will do. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Kill beans. That's good to know. ta -da. By the way, get a haircut. <laughs> His haircut is fine. It's <laughs> very... He, he looks like a, an Antonian friar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like Friar Tuck. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with Friar Tuck. <laughs> Friar Tuck's cool. Alright, level up. And let's stick another point in strength. Just to show off. Okay, leave. Oh yeah. Elspeth is, is levelling up. Now, I didn't now. really show the air stock to the fullness of its ability at this point. Does that so. shield slowly disintegrate? Um, all items have condition that deteriorates over time. You oh, can repair gosh, them. We've saved the game as well, so they're going to be coming at us again, these, yep. these guys are. Hello, hello. Oh, no. so there's one there, and there's one on the... Right. Come on. And that's the beauty of the air stock. Like a spear, whoops, you can... Ow! Watch out, man! As I was oh. saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> like a spear, the S stock can be deployed while your shield is raised. See? Okay. Unfortunately, your stamina regenerates much more slowly while your shield is raised, so it's not a sustainable practice. So, is it possible to? Because one thing that bugs me is is that you can't 
regenerate your health. Mm -hmm. So you have to rely on like health pickups and stuff. But yeah. it seems that when you use your shield, you, you still take a battering. Yes, but there are better shields. There are shields the opposite, Daisy. I was the expecting game. him to fall off the edge then. There we go. He's off now. And you're oh, off his friends well. come. Yes! Oh, he fell off. <laughs> and you know what? I think we're going to send this friend after him. Go on. Oh my See goodness. how he gets on. Oh, that went quite far. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it looks like the hand axe is actually a better, cho <laughs> better so choice. Is it, is it better to, to kind of like dodge and stuff and move, like, instead of taking the hits with the shield? So you I don't take any damage then to the health? Fine that it generally is, but dodging is very difficult. It requires very fast reactions and very good awareness of your surroundings. Oh, so right, okay. it can be a double edged sword if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, what? what? Oh gosh, now they're all going to come back now again, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Now we see the downside of having enemies come back. That's okay, because so you've this got to be pretty careful in a way with where you save in how you level up. That's right. Because if I would imagine the further you go through the game, the harder mm -hmm. the enemies are going to be. Yep, you got to decide whether you're willing to, to save and know that you're going to return there when you die, or do you go on a bit further? Also, is it mean. is it all of the small the small enemies or do the big like boss demons like respawn as well uh, larger enemies and bosses generally don't respawn but they can there are, there are certain enemies that don't respawn early in okay. the game but they will be respawning enemies later on oh gosh yep now we've dropped down here uh, what we dropped down was a lift shaft there's a lift that we can get later on now these are cracked red eye orbs you can use these to invade other players games uh -huh. If you are that way inclined. I'm not that way inclined, so we won't be doing that. Excuse me. We have to pillage the treasure chest. There we are, we've just saved ourselves a thousand, uh, thousand souls. We've got a talisman and a morning star. Morning star is actually a very useful weapon for where we've got to go next. And in here, we've got half a dozen homeward bones. So we don't actually have to go down here. But we need to. Nope. The homeward bones are... Let me show you. Uh, here we go. Do, 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 do. Return to last bonfire, rest of that. That makes you vanish and reappear at Firelink Shrine. Ah. So we can use that if we can't handle what happens down here. Now, uh, if... Oh, you're... are we about to enter a boss fight now? Uh, no, these are just regular enemies. But they are very mean regular enemies. They're for dangerous. this stage in the game. But we have a secret weapon. We have the morning star, and oh we have yes. our fireballs. So we can they are them. about to get their ass handed to them. Let's do it. Well, let's not make promises we can't keep for this moment. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to slide down so we're we can't gonna escape. Have to slide down. Oh yep. god! Hi guys. Oh let's no. do this. That's the spirit. Come on. It's the undead. Yeah. Whoops. Oh wow, he jumps. Oh, he's fast. That's okay, so are we. Whoops, we're caught behind something. There we go. There you go, you see, you dodged, you jumped out of the way. Mm -hmm. Right, come on up. He's stuck behind the stairs. Oh, and yes. keep smashing That's and smashing. There we there. go. Doesn't look like they can jump up the stairs. Oh, Ow. no. Nope, just give it a second. Oh, he keeps rebuilding himself. There we go. That's fine. Oh. Now, the beauty of the Morning Star is that it is a strike weapon, and strike weapons make skeletons fall apart. Oh, ah. well, that is good. And we've got a red and white round shield. Let's see if that's any better than the one we've got. So if we used a sword, that would have done nothing? Uh, no, a sword would have damaged them, but it wouldn't have caused them to fall apart, and oh. they would have kept attacking. I oh, I see. So there's a time that you get a little bit extra time then? Yeah. Oh, that's that's quite a good time. So there we go. This is a much better shield. Look, that blocks 85% of physical damage, 65% of magic, and 65% of lightning. Whereas this is pathetic. That is crap. It's a lot more durable as well. So we've won a watch just by coming down here. And some other poor sucker has come down here as well. Oh, oh. And has been utterly destroyed. <laughs> so I think we are going to drink canestas. That's better. Now. I always keep my weapon in two hands here, if you'll pardon the expression, because these <laughs> guys oh, have gosh. a lot of hit points, whoops, for this early on in the game. Ow. 
you just bash one and then bash the other. Sometimes you can bash them both at once. Whoops, not this time unfortunately. There we go. Whoops, oh. Whoop. be careful. Oh, oh. Retreat. There we go. Yes. So we'll just oh, that while he's himself. rebuilding himself. And then we get out of the way. Oh! Come here. That's a spirit. Got him. Yes, now going down here so early on is very dicey. You don't have a lot of stopping power and these guys hit very hard. But it is worth it because there are a few good items to be found here. Now let's just... Look at the hand just rolling about. <laughs> let's just clear all this gubbins away from here. And we will need this in due course. Now, uh, do -do -do -do. There's another shield down here. Oh. Oh, here we Actually, go, here's another one. Yeah, before we do anything else, oh. we should... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go! Run, Quick, run, run away! If we lock onto this guy, we can... Oops, we, oh, can, we can run get away. torn to shreds. Let's try this again. That's more like it. Wow! Oh. Yeah! Two and he's dead. And you can take that as well. Do you see? Oh, wow. This is another reason why being a pyromancer is very useful That's early quite on cool. in the game. The, the round I'm shield surprised that the, the, the fire had that much effect on what is essentially just a skeleton. Ah, no. I That's would have because thought, like, sort of fleshy zombies would have been affected a bit more by yeah. than that. That's because pyromancy is not the same as fire. It manifests as fire, but it's actually a uh, manifestation of the soul of life. Oh, right. And these skeleton warriors are created by Grave Lord Nito, who is the bearer of the soul of death. Oh, oh so yes, these yes, are, yes. So these are opposites, so we find that pyromancy is very effective. There's a soul of a last, oh, last, last soul of a last undead. Random is down there. Uh, oh, there are actually. Let's, let's deal with these two before we do anything else. Now, I want to keep my five fireballs because. Bash them! Bash them! Will do. There we go. Run away, away, run away! Oh god! Let's not take any chances. Oh, run away! He's gonna leap. Take that. Now they're quite clever. Whoops. Yep. Now, now, when they pose like this, they're reposting. This means if you hit them, they will be able to parry you, and they will be able to hit you critically. Oh, Whoops, gosh. as he almost did there. Thankfully, I was far enough away, so i just got to be very careful here. Ooh, Whoop. he does a little... Stop that. Leap attack. Whoops, a daisy, I'm almost dead. Let's not take any chances here. Careful now. Okay, come on, Nick. Come Stop on. You can do this. You can do this. Oh. Oh. And one more. There we go. Whoops, a daisy. That's okay. One down. And there we go. Oh. The other down. Wow. Look at that. We came down here with ten Astus flasks. We're now down to three. This is really... This is really a dicey area. But the diciest of them all is just up here. Is is also just running away. Hmm? Can you just... You could just run away. Will they follow you forever? Or do they have like a line of sight and they just go back to like some sort of patrol or something? The skeletons basically protect the graveyard. They will follow you back to Firelink Shrine. But when you save at the bonfire, they reset. So if you can get back to the bonfire... Is it is it possible also oh, to get mm -hmm. um, the skeletons to attack another player? Like that person that we spoke to who was in the kind of... Um, armor vest type thing. If they attacked you and hit him accidentally, would he then just batter them? And I then you can collect all their souls. I have no idea. Hmm. I'm not sure how you would go about that, because I don't think the enemies uh, intentionally attack NPCs. They kind of ignore them. Unless but they're if fighting you, if you would kind of walk near him, hmm? so they try and attack you, and they get the other guy by accident, and he just kills them, and then you get all the soul points then. Then you don't get, you don't get hit. As far as I'm aware, uh, the hit wouldn't register. I don't think they can hit each other in the same way that they can't hit other enemies. All right. should try that. So, there's a lot of very oh big God. bones here. Oh my goodness! Uh, we barely survived the normal skeletons. Can we handle a giant one? Find out next time. Are you recording a new thing now? Yeah, this is just the corrections. This is just a correction because I, I used, you know, that, that pointy sword that I had. I tried to use it with it's my fair. crappy, yeah, my, with my crappy shield. Oh. And it's just not very sensible. And I say, oh, maybe I'll not put this in the guide. No, I'm going to keep it in. Because sometimes a walkthrough has to show what not to do. Don't pair a shield that roll... Uh, cock that up. We'll try again. Try again! Hey! Take two.